Chronicles 17 Who shall be this elect of the Lord of hosts, who shall build a temple, or a house to the Almighty, and in which his throne shall be established in the earth forever? You see, King David wants to build the temple for the Lord of hosts, but the Lord does not allow, saying that he will not build the house for the Lord, but one of his root, one of his sons or grandchildren, he will build the house for the Lord and be confirmed forever. Certainly it does not refer to King Solomon, Solomon, then who will this be? Remember, the Almighty does not dwell in temples or a house built by men. 1 Chronicles 17 11, But the Almighty said to the prophet to tell King David that, When your days are fulfilled to go to your fathers, I will raise up your seed after you, which shall be of your sons, and confirm his kingdom. He will build me a house, and I will establish his throne forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son, and my lovingkindness will I not turn from it, as I have taken it from him that was before thee but I will establish it in my house and in my kingdom forever, and his throne shall be established forever. A story about the slim-faced blackbird with smoky eyes who died in the fierce fight, facing the tin with his machete, as it should be. Zasimba Gaba, the warrior princess of Angola, who knew how to wait all her youth to get rid of her master, led her people against the atrocities to which she was subjected. Possessed by a singular courage, she ended the life of fights, heroic John 8 56 Yumashia, the Messiah, literally says that he physically met Father, Abba, Baba, Tata, Abana, Abraham, and that when Abana saw him, he rejoiced greatly. This means that Yumashia lived physically in the Old Testament era. Who can tell me when this happened? Read the verse below. John 8 56 Your father Abraham greatly rejoiced, for he would see my day, and he saw it and was happy. Then the Jews said to Jesus, Are you not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I I am. Sam, 
Psalm 16:10 read the verses and tell me of whom King David was referring who is this saint in whom the almighty would not let him see the corruption ye be counted among the deads was king david talking about himself new living translation for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your holy one to rot in the grave king james bible for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption good news translation because you protect me from the power of death I have served you faithfully, and you will not abandon me to the world of the dead. Finally, Lachish has collapsed and its defense forces are crushed. The city will be damaged and ransacked. The leaders of the rebellion will be executed on the spot, while ordinary soldiers and people will be deported into exile within the Assyrian Empire. This detail of the stone wall panel shows that Assyrian soldiers are flaying two naked prisoners from Lachish. Meanwhile, on the left, Lachish's people are deported while observing the torture. From Nineveh, modern-day Mosul Governorate Iraq, Room XXXVI of the Southwest Palace, panels 9 to 10. The British Museum, London. Photo Osama SM Amin. Like the gemstones of the breastplate of Aaron. Inheritance of our ancestors, the Israelite people, Exodus 28. 15 to 21. Crown of King Buban Vula Dala Mana King Kabambo, Kabambo, 43rd monarch of the kingdom of Nongo Angola. Bantu Bantu is plural of the Hebrew word mote, which means brittle, fatal, immortal. Mote in the language called Bantu by the European is mutu, muntu, mundu. In the Latin language it is mundu, meaning world it is written mundo, the word is the same, because everything that is mundane is terrestrial and is mortal. In Latin the language of the Roman people, we find many Bantu words, just as in Bantu we find many words of Latin origins. It is proof that both peoples have met before in the remote past. The people called Bantu are descendants of Israel, without a doubt. It is not so that our ancestors choose the word mot or mutu to designate people.
The Lunda Lunda? Comes from the Hebrew word loud? DWL, a people ranked among the Semites, Genesis 10. 22. People related to the Egyptians, G10, 13. Lunda Empire Lunda Empire, historic Bantu-speaking African state founded in the 16th century in the region of the Upper Kasai River, now in northeastern Angola and Western Democratic Republic of the Congo. Although the Lunda people had lived in the area from early times, their empire was founded by invaders coming west from Luba. Between 1600 and 1750, bands of Lunda adventurers established numerous satellites, see Kassange, Kasim, Luba Lunda states. The Lunda Empire consisted of a centralized core, a ring of provinces closely tied to the capital, an outer ring of provinces that paid tribute but were otherwise autonomous, and a fringe of independent kingdoms that shared a common Lunda culture. The imperial boundaries were thus only loosely defined. Lunda traded with both the Arabs on the Indian Ocean and, from about 1650, the Portuguese on the Atlantic. The leading exports were ivory and slaves, imports included cloth and guns. The empire reached the height of its power by the 1850s. Thereafter its might was eroded by the incursions of the neighboring Chakwal. Portuguese troops arrived from Angola in the west in 1884, and Belgians from the Congo Free State in the northeast in 1898. Lunda was partitioned between them. Guerrilla warfare against a Congo Free State continued until 1909, when the Lunda leaders were captured and executed. Learn more in these related articles. Kassange Kassange, historical kingdom founded by the Imbangala about 1630 along the upper Kuango River, in present-day Angola. By the mid-17th century the kingdom of Kassange had risen to become a dominant power along the Kuango, as it allied with the Portuguese in the area, and often fought against the neighboring the hydroelectric dam on the Congo River at Inga Falls, near Matadi, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Central Africa. Development of the slave trade was the empire of the Lunda at the heart of the southern savanna. The Lunda people seemed to have become aware of the slave trade as early as the 16th century. Wandering Lunda hunters and salt prospectors, known as Imbingala or Jaga, entered Angola and recruited local followers into heavily, 